Welcome to today's lesson on quadrilaterals review. Today we're going to discuss how to classify these different types of quadrilaterals, squares, trapezoids, rectangles, and parallelograms. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's review what a quadrilateral is. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. That means that it has four sides that are all connected, so it is a closed figure, with four straight lines. Let's go ahead and begin our review with a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has one set of parallel sides and the other sides are not parallel to each other. As you can see with this trapezoid, our top and bottom sides are parallel, which means they will never intersect. But our sides on the left and the right will eventually intersect if they were to continue on and they are not parallel to each other. Our next figure is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has to have two sets of parallel sides. So as you can see, our sides on the left and the right are parallel to each other and our sides on the top and the bottom are parallel to each other as well. However, it's important to understand that a parallelogram does not have to have 90 degree angle corners. It just needs to have two sets of parallel sides. That brings us to our next figure, a rectangle. A rectangle also has to have two sets of parallel sides, but it also has to have four 90 degree angles. A rectangle, however, does not need to have all four sides the same length. As you can see, our sides on the left and the right are much shorter than our sides on the top and the bottom. And that's because our only requirements for a rectangle are to have four 90 degree angles and two sets of parallel sides. Let's go ahead and look at our final quadrilateral, a square. A square is required to have two sets of parallel sides. It's also required to have four 90 degree angles. And lastly, a square has to have four sides that all have the same length. Now, as you'll notice, some of these definitions sounded very similar to each other. A rectangle also has to have four 90 degree angles. A parallelogram also has to have two sets of parallel sides. So how can we sort all of this information? Well, we are going to create a hierarchy diagram. A hierarchy diagram will let us organize our information so that we can see that a square is always a rectangle but a rectangle won't always be a square. And a rectangle is always a parallelogram, but a parallelogram won't always be a rectangle. Let's go ahead and build one together. We are going to begin building our hierarchy diagram, having the word quadrilaterals at the top of our diagram. Every shape that we build today below quadrilaterals must be a quadrilateral. That means that every shape must have four sides. The higher the word is on the hierarchy diagram, the broader the word will be. The lower we go on our diagram, the more specific the word will be. Here, let me show you. We are going to start with a trapezoid. A trapezoid is right below quadrilaterals on our diagram. Now, a trapezoid meets the expectation of a quadrilateral. It has four sides, but it's more specific than that it also must have one set of parallel sides. So as you can see, since we have trapezoid below quadrilateral, it is in fact a quadrilateral and it's more specific as well. Let's go ahead and look at our next shapes. We're next going to look at a parallelogram. A parallelogram is also a four-sided shape. So as you can see, it's below quadrilaterals and it has two sets of parallel sides. So as you can see, it also meets the expectation of having four sides, but then we begin to get more specific. Below parallelogram, we are going to have a rectangle. Now you can see it's getting much more specific. A rectangle meets the expectation of a quadrilateral having four sides. It also must meet the expectation of a parallelogram. It has to have two sets of parallel sides. But then we get even more specific. It also has to have four 90 degree angles. So as you can see, a rectangle 
will always be a parallelogram because it has to have four sides and two sets of parallel sides. But a parallelogram will not always be a rectangle because as you can see in this diagram, this parallelogram does not have four 90 degree angles. Let's go ahead and look at our next shape. We have a square. Now a square meets all of the same requirements that a rectangle, parallelogram, and quadrilateral have. We have four sides, two sets of parallel sides, four 90 degree angles, and now we're getting even more specific. All sides have to be the same length. That means that a square will always be a rectangle, a square will always be a parallelogram, and a square will always be a quadrilateral. The further you go down on your hierarchy diagram, the more specific the shape is. However, a rectangle will not always be a square because a rectangle will not always have all sides the same length. I want you to list all of the different words that we can name each of these two shapes. Let's go ahead and start with our green shape. What can we call our green shape? Well, first, we know that it has four sides. And since it has four sides, we know that we can at least call it a quadrilateral. But let's get more specific. This shape also has one set of parallel sides. It does not have 90 degree angles, and it does not have more than one set of parallel sides, which means it is a trapezoid. Let's go ahead and look at our blue shape. How many different terms can we come up with for this blue shape? Well, again, we already know that it has four sides, which means it has to be a quadrilateral. And furthermore, we have two sets of parallel sides, which means it also can be called a parallelogram. Now, since we have four 90 degree angles as well, we can also call it a rectangle. And each of our four sides all have the same length which means we also can call it a square. Let's review what you learned in today's lesson. A quadrilateral is a polygon which has four sides. The quadrilaterals that we reviewed started with the trapezoid. The trapezoid has four sides with only one set of parallel sides. A parallelogram is also a four-sided figure which has two sets of parallel sides. Getting even more specific, we have a rectangle, which is also a four-sided figure with two sets of parallel sides and also four 90-degree angles. And then lastly, our most specific shape of all, we have a square, which has four sides, two sets of parallel sides, four 90-degree angles, and four sides that are all the same length.